Hi there, this is Karen from Soul Shimmer Designs and today I wanted to show you how I made this Valentine's shadow box. It has a sort of a 3D side to it as you can see with the movement of the heart. So let's get going and I'll show you how I made it. So what you'll need for this project is a blank wooden heart and a shadow box from Ikea. These have the capacity to st either stand up using the back stand or they can hang on a wall. Then there is an insert and an acrylic front. Just putting it all back together now, I wanted to show you how it all looks. So the first thing we need to do for this heart is remove the string and sand it down. It didn't need a lot of sanding, but just enough to get rid of a couple of the, the grooves that were in there. I made up a paint to match the Begonia Rose vinyl using my Aurora paints. So poppy metallic red, strawberry shortcake and licorice. These are water-based paints that give quite a thick coverage for a water-based paint and you can see there it brings out a really lovely colour. I just made sure that I covered in all the pieces because the wood is quite light so make sure you get everything covered including the sides then let that dry for half an hour and you can add your second coat of paint and that then needs to dry for half an hour. Now it's time to add on the decals this is the Mirachrome Purple Magic, then a Lavender Matte Vinyl, the Iris Purple in Mirachrome, and then a Pink in the Matte Vinyl. Then it was time just to get a bit of an idea of placement, and starting from the bottom, that was going to be my centre point as it was the smallest length to work with and then I could line up all my other decals. As always the combination of the tech wrap vinyl with the transfer tape and the squidgy as well everything goes very smoothly and even on this wood which I actually had intended to seal with a my Hyperion top coat but the coverage of the paint was so good that I actually didn't need to I was a bit worried that some of the grooves of the wood would show through on the vinyl but it didn't at all particularly I was worried with the matte vinyl it's not as thick as the mirror chrome vinyl but there were no problems at all and using my weeding pen just to help whenever I needed it. And we are done with the Be Mine decals on the heart. For the backing of the shadow box, I had downloaded a design from Creative Fabrica and picked out my three or four colours. The reason that I decided to make life very hard for myself and cut pieces out of the vinyl here is just to save the vinyl and have the scraps it um, kind of upsets me when I waste so much vinyl so I did that and um, yeah it did make things a little bit more difficult and took a bit of extra time but I'm happy that I saved some of my extra vinyl there and I used also a light pad at the back I had the design that I printed off which was very light colours so I needed a bit of a hand and it made adding my hearts and dots and exos a whole lot easier. This design that I found on Creative Fabrica is actually for a glass wrap and I just adjusted it to fit what I needed so that's a really good tip to if you're looking for a design and you can just change it however you want to but I was really happy with how this was looking all the different colors and it's a really cute background and the last decals were the purple hearts and there you can see it's all done
I've placed everything back into the shadow box as I just needed to check the placement of my front decal valentine that was going to go on there and just set it up ready to put in the heart as well. So now I've made a mark there where the middle of the shadow box is and I've used some vinyl cord so that to the naked eye you wouldn't be able to see the cord and it just looks like it's suspended there. So I've placed that in and tied a knot and it's a little bit of a challenge to get the setting of where you want the heart placed and that it centers up with your front valentine decal as well. So I'm just kind of pulling and pushing the knot around and making sure or tightening it and making sure I've got the correct size. Once I've got my size I just do a, a third knot so that it doesn't move and for extra security I added on some glue as well. To secure the heart to the top I used my trusty glue gun and just positioned it where I had put the, the mark before and once it had cooled down I put an extra lot of security with some double-sided adhesive tape. The next thing to do was to remove the protective sheets that are over the acrylic and there is one on the back there and one on the front and the weeding pen is perfect to give yourself a, st a head start to pull those off. So that's the back one and now I'm just doing the front one and making sure I hold it onto the corners because you don't want any finger marks everywhere. I'm just placing everything back now, the backing sheet and the stand of the shadow box. And when I turned it over, I realised my heart wasn't sitting so straight. So I took everything out again and used my hot glue gun to add some dots of glue onto the cord so that it would stay in position and not move around. The last part of the project was adding the valentine decal and that was just a matter of using my transfer tape and squidgy comes off nicely as always and just making sure I was happy, happy with the centering and that it all matched up at the top and I was worried actually it would leave some marks on the acrylic sheet but was totally fine. I hadn't pushed it down so much there so I need to take my time with things like that. Sometimes you need to take it easy. So I've slowed down a lot and it's done. So I'm really happy with how that looks and I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Loving these colours, the mix of the mirror chrome and the matte vinyl is just really really fun and gives it some really good dimension thank you so much for watching this tutorial and if you've got any questions please let me know thank you